Hey guys, this is Gary from the very, very beautiful um, Cape Town, South Africa. Um, just a short little video um, just to talk about um, the hard fork that uh, took place uh, yesterday and um, the new uh, forked coin called Bitcoin Cash. So today's date um, may be Today's date is the 2nd of August, it is 10-12 um, a.m. and I'm just going to run through um, the actual uh, coinmarketcap.com. If you guys have a look here you can see that we've reached the 100 billion uh, mark again. Um, BTC dominance uh, yesterday was at 51%, dropped to 44.8%. So it appears that, um, you know, that the prediction that most people were selling their altcoins um, to buy more Bitcoin so that they could acquire the same amount of Bitcoin cash um, is in fact uh, the case, okay? But if we have a look at what the price of Bitcoin has done, it's kind of moved between 2,900 and 2,650 during yesterday and today. And then if we have a look at all the altcoins, you see a, a whole lot of greens. All right, so all the money flooding back into the market. Um, I'm not 100% sure uh, where it's coming from. I certainly wasn't able to sell my Bitcoin Cash. Um, the current market price of Bitcoin Cash is at $403 currently. And guys, I want to give you some thoughts on this, okay? Um, this is really no different to um, Litecoin. In fact, um, possibly Litecoin is able to do a whole lot more than Bitcoin Cash. Um, Litecoin's solved the scaling problem. Um, they, there's technology that's coming with Litecoin where you can do smart contracts on it. And, you know, I really see uh, the price of Litecoin going up in the very near future. And it's probably going to take the, price, take the market share from uh, Bitcoin Cash. But does this mean that we need to sell our Bitcoin Cash? And guys, this, um, this is not financial advice. Let me just tell you, this is just my own thoughts and my own research on it. Um, well, you know, Sedgwick is now going to be locked into Bitcoin in the very near future. I think it locks in on the 11th of August. If, if something goes wrong with that, and then uh, the sort of upgrade to two mega block sizes will happen in November. If something goes wrong with that, we could see that price going down and this price taking over. So the risk is, um, do we bet against the majority of the marketplace that are saying that Sedgwick is good and it is going to fix the scaling problems of Bitcoin? and release our Bitcoin Cash now at a higher price. Okay, so you have that choice. Or do you just hold on to this for now and wait and see what happens with that price over the next two or three months? All right. Um, I think we're going to know in the next month or two what is going to happen. But at that time, this price could drop dramatically All right, already. I mean, there are a lot of people that still have not been able to cash out their Bitcoin cash. And I think when that happens, we're going to see a drop in the market price. So if we're betting on Bitcoin, then we can get rid of Bitcoin cash and we can go into altcoins like Litecoin, um, and, and new economic movements, NEM, um, very good option. Um, Stratus, good option. Neo, I've been saying a hell of a lot about it. It was at $6.80 a day or two ago. Just look at the increases. Uh, there's talk about uh, Veritasium as well, being very, very good. Obviously, BitShare is a good, a good option. Um, Golem is a good option. Ethereum is always going to be a good option, guys. So if you're going to cash out of Bitcoin Cash, then I would definitely... Uh, put the money, hedge it into a Litecoin, which I'm thinking there's going to be an announcement soon that might be pushing this price up over the next two, three months uh, dramatically. 
Um, IOTA is also a very, very good option. You can also see the increase in the price there. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Um, at the end of the day, um, I personally believe Bitcoin will prevail. I believe Sedgwick um, has proven themselves, um, uh, you know, and Litecoin have already got Sedgwick. So, you know, guys, um, <clears throat> will there be a fork? And also, let's just think about that. If we, if we, make a success out of Bitcoin cash and only the market can decide on that that encourages another fork of Bitcoin down the line now one of the main reasons Bitcoin is so strong is because it's decentralized number one and number two they only 21 million coins now they've created a Bitcoin cash if we start supporting a Bitcoin cash we have another 21 million coins okay and we end up with this very similar situation that surrounds us with central banks, with them just printing, printing more and more money, making the money worthless. So, um, you know, I'm very hesitant to support this Bitcoin Cash. Um, I'm very m most likely to back Bitcoin 100%. And when I can get my Bitcoin Cash out of Trezor, I'm probably going to be selling and getting as much as I can and then hedging into some of these other altcoins that have a massive upswing in the next uh, three to six months. But guys, I'll keep you updated of it, on it. Um, I'll try to do more videos on, on this and talking about um, some of these coins and talking about some of the ICOs that are coming up. Um, you know, uh, there's so much opportunity in this space and um, yeah, stay tuned and um, I'll, I'll keep you guys all updated on it. So from Gary, uh, this is me signing off and hope you guys have a fantastic week. Cheers.